What is up, lads? Welcome back to the eFootball podcast. Uh, I'm joined again by Weza FC, who's on my bottom. He's below me today. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. He's below me today in the Discord. But we also have our guest of honor today. It's been a long time coming, but we do have a guest on the show, lads. A lot of people are asking for it. Game Over UK, welcome to the podcast, man. Um, I'm not too sure where to look now because the camera is in a funny position. <laughs> this but is what you've done. Yeah, man, I've, done. I've messed around. And it screws it up. But uh, we, yeah, we've had to do a new overlay, so it's a bit confusing. But Game Over UK, man, welcome to the podcast. How are you doing? I'm good, man. Thank you very much for having me on. I brush my teeth as well. Yeah, man. <laughs> I can smell your bread. It's lovely. He's looking very, very fresh on my side. He's looking very fresh. He is. He is. His camera is looking fresh too. His lighting. He's making me look like a, a, mere, a mere amateur here, but... Uh, yeah, lads, I mean, look, we're going to get into it because obviously I'm sucking on strepsils here. I've got lem sip in my, in my cup. I'm sick. I don't know what's wrong with me, but uh, I've got the eFootball blues, I think, at this stage with no Master League. But it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting podcast because we have a lot to get through. And obviously we're going to have, you know, like Game Over UK is going to be coming in and giving us a lot of his thoughts um, to freshen things up a bit because it's been ages since we've had a guest on, Wes. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, we're going to start with like a brief kind of discussion, I suppose, of season two and, you know, maybe touch on some of the, the pros and the cons and the gameplay and stuff as we go into that conversation. So um, Game Over UK, we are going to start with you, man, because, you know, you're top billing today. Sorry, Wes. But uh, what are your thoughts, man? Like, give me your actual thoughts on the whole like ecosystem at the moment within eFootball, which is effectively just Dream Team. You know, we've no offline modes, we've no co-op, we've no edit mode, we've nothing else to play, only Dream Team. So, like, what are your thoughts on how they transition from releasing a free-to-play game that's, you know, micro-transition or micro-transaction friendly or more heavy, I should say. Um, and then, obviously, they've transitioned from season one to season two and how they've done all that. Like, what are your honest thoughts on it? I hate playing the, against the AI. <laughs> I hate it. Man, I, all the offline fans will be killing you now. Oh, you just like turned away 50% of the, the fan base <laughs> against you. Just with that comment. I was going to say, we're four minutes in. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So I'm playing Story to Remorse where you have to play the legendary to get the uh, legendary Yeah, the tour, AI the event. Get, yeah. So I had the PC account and the uh, my Xbox account. And I used to get my mate to play the uh, PC one because he was on PC. I absolutely hated it. <laughs> and so I am so happy that, well, I'm so happy they came with Dream Team first. I definitely understand why people love the Master League, mm. just like they love Championship Manager or Football Manager or whatever it's called now. But for me, I'm, 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 I love the game. I, I, really do. I, I do bash the game, but I, I do love the game as well. Yeah. But are you, are you kind of like, when you say that, right, do you think then that you kind of, with the Master League, because obviously we're, like, I'm a massive Master League fan. That's kind of why I started producing PEZ content originally yeah. back in PEZ. I think it was 2011 I started doing videos on YouTube. And I know Wes is a longtime fan as well of the series. But it's it's kind of transitioned, hasn't it, from, I don't know, gaming as a whole. It's all about now. It's like, it's kind of like ever-evolving, always online. Like, you're, there's updates and stuff like that. And we can get into you know, the disaster that was the launch. We can get into what we think about content versus content or whatever people like to call the packs and whatever. But do you think like that, that masterly kind of centric fan base is now being slowly replaced by like online guys such as yourself who would say that like, I don't want to play against the AI. I want to play against people, you know, and I want to play against proper like online experiences or whatever. Is that what you think the game has moved on to now? Yeah, I think so. But I think you're going to, I think every every smart business has to follow the money. Mm. They can, of course, create an amazing master league, and and they they know the basis of a great master league. So it doesn't mean they can't create another one. It just it to them, to, mo mobile probably made them more money than anything else. Mm. But I'm glad they went with console first. Master league probably didn't make them any money, but. Does it mean they can't make any money out of it if they do it properly? Now, I would assume, and we we already know that if you want to buy some extra clubs, it's going to cost you, I think, in Master League, um, or, or or just just playing exhibition mode. So they could make some serious cash doing Master League, 
but mm. they got to do it right. Yeah. But for myself, yeah, uh, I only play multiplayer games. I don't really play single player games. I mean, I play story driven games, God of War, Last of Us, that kind of that, those kind of games. They're, they're epic games. Mm. Me playing against AI for me is kind of like I have no, there's no story to it. So I, I'd rather make my own story and and play Dream Team or FIFA Ultimate Team or whatever kind of war zone, whatever it is. Mm. Wes, I, I'm trying. I'm trying not to smile here because I can already sense right that people like this is kind of a very like a very good conversation because I think myself right. If you if you take you know what that point that's just been made there by Game Over right. If he's saying that something that's very like a lot of people don't want to hear that right because the game has moved on past getting the game in September or October, mm-hmm. paying your money in the shop. And then that's it for the rest of the year. Like that's that's the only money the developer is going to get out of your pocket, basically. Now it's about getting the game into as many people as cheaply as possible. That's why you've got discounts at Christmas. You've got like Pez Lite. You've got all this. And then having a con- consistent flow of income coming in, right? Now, like veteran Pez fans will be like literally like tearing their hair out listening to that point being made there, right? Because of the online centric way of, of, of the game being going, right? But like, I think it's a brilliant point because if Master League was brought out in the morning and it was the best, best ever Master League, it was like just wipe the floor with NBA 2K's career mode, FIFA's career mode. It was the best Master League ever, had everything that you never needed to buy another game again. Like, is it going to make as much money as them bringing out the packs that they've done today? And that's the real question that Konami are probably asking themselves that I don't even think we can answer, but like, what are your thoughts on that? Like, what are your thoughts to counteract that? I think, I think the question that I would probably ask is, is, is how much profit is too much profit? Mm. Cause we've seen the reported numbers that Konami make out of their very limited game inventory now of what mm. they bring out. And how, how much is enough? Because uh, yes, I, I totally it's never enough, point. man. It's never enough yeah, for big I, businesses. I, I totally, like yeah, and and I get it. I, I totally get the the point they came over made, which is yep, absolutely smart businesses will will follow will follow wherever their money comes from, be it in advertising, be it in uh, you know uh, getting sponsorships, whatever the case may be. And and unfortunately, in terms of gaming, it's now become microtransactions, regardless of however. You know, you take them in whether you, you pay, you're running your 300 coins, you know, for your feature players, or whether you're doing 12k, 24k openings, or, or whatever the case may be. Regardless, that's where companies are getting their money from. And and the point that was made, it's an inconvenient truth to a lot of us. It mm. hurts. It, it, it hurt, man. You know, it does hurt. There's, there's there's a lot of podcasts of me, you, and nameless other, or countless other people who are sitting here going. Just what Master League though? <laughs> just you know, just give us, give us some, you know, give it, you know, you know, you know, the whole, the, the you know, my point that's constantly been hammered home about. It's the thing that that got us to where we are now. But at, you know, I am now thirty two. I think when I first started playing it, it was a hand me down SNES that I was playing <laughs> ISS on. Yeah, it's like you know, if you gave me that same SNES now, I'd look at you and go what the hell are you giving me here mm. why am i playing why am i playing a super nintendo <laughs> as much as i would have the nostalgia yeah you'd, you'd be so, like oh it's cute for like two seconds and then you'd yeah, be like yeah, yeah. and then right. i'd get infuriated about the yeah. fact that i could curl in corners all the way in from the from the <laughs> um but it's only like, you could do that though is <laughs> no, no but the, the point the point I, I, the, the point realistically there is for me is we're getting to a little bit of a tipping point with it now from mm. what i've seen so far to that day um from within the game and stuff we're we're getting down that road of okay literally everything's now going to be some type of microtransaction and we're getting to we're almost getting to a point now where there's like this game like we we understand that the game modes are going to be dlc fine but now we have aspects of those game modes that are now you've got to purchase with coins and Mm. just a bit like yeah the objectives in that it's a step to it's a step too far in my book Mm. I, i i can understand where they're going with it don't get me wrong you know, if they if they brought it out in the morning where it was able, you were able to unlock those each month by playing just that stuff. That I can get on board with mm. because I do that with Fortnite already. Yeah, I play I play Fortnite to a point where I get other V bucks. That's enough for the next pass. So stuff, I get a yeah, whole yeah. bunch of I get a whole bunch of new stuff. 
and then I can still get enough V bucks to then get the next one. Mm. So I, if, it, if it fits into that metric, I'm yeah. okay with it. If it doesn't fit into that metric and there's a deficit every time you complete objectives or whatever the case may be, that's where you get an issue because it's like okay, you are that you're constantly running it to then get more money out of your fan base, and it you know for, especially for the price it is, I think I totaled it up in my head. I think it's what about eleven, eleven, twelve quid is it to get to mm. get both the the premium and the what is it premium and the base i can't remember what they I think it is yeah it's about that anyway yeah it's like it's like 1500 coins just to get objectives unlocked and i'm just a bit like okay but the coins you get back from it aren't the same amount so that's yeah. that's kind of where it's yeah. a bit like there needs to be there needs to be an additional bit in there or there needs to be an improvement in what's offered in the objectives mm. <clears throat> sorry <You're> right. <laughs> um i, I think FIFA came up uh, came up with a lot of uh, came against a lot of scrutiny last year. They did a lot of SBCs last year, and I think this year they did even more SBCs and put out even more cards that you could hero cards and those kind of cards. Mm -hmm. And I think <clears throat> now the, the the original question was: Is Dream Team the way forward? For me, yes. But in regards to and and you touched upon it, Wes, is um, it, it's a, to a tipping point. Yes, you're right. I think the balance isn't there. I, I think it's too easy to get these these good cards, and it's too easy just to put some coins on your card mm -hmm. and buy them. There should be a system like FIFA where there's an SBC, there's some kind of objective. So you can get there's a chance to get a decent card. I think they've gone from one extreme to the other with um, uh, with with eFootball, and uh, I think they need to rein it back in a little bit. Like yesterday, I spent like a fiver trying to get either Owen Kohler and think it's just too it's just too easy. It's mm. Like and it it's, and then doesn't make it fun either. Like it, there's no hard work. Yeah. It's a tough balance though, lads, it is, because as you said there, like, I think the problem that they face is the same as every game, is like, a lot of people were attracted initially to Pez, like my club, because mm. they'd go to FIFA and they'd sp spend two or three hundred euro or two or three hundred pounds trying to get a good player, and then they come over and spend 20 quid and have a stacked team in Pez, and that kind of brought them over, but now, you know, with the whole fact that you can buy players with GP, it seems that that's kind of gone under the, the radar because you're just being bombarded with like yeah, power packs exactly. and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. like it is, in fairness, look, it is a good point. I'm, I like, we have, you know, and it's something, it's something that I wanted to kind of bring up where you said there was about like, how far is too far before it becomes a thing of like, well, you know, what is this doing to the ecosystem of the game that you are literally going to have like five cards of Neymar in the game in a month's time or two months time or three months time yeah, where I like mean, i mean you can only use one in one yeah game. do you know like what i mean like it's like what's the point time. of of like what's the point and it's like oh they're bringing like zidane or they're bringing ronaldo and it's like yeah but you know i've got legend ansu fatty who's like got better stats than ronaldo or zidane do you know what i mean like the whole mystique of oh man like this player is just like unbelievable like there is a couple of players still like that i think in dream team like beckenbauer Vieira, romario like they are even above their stats, I think the best players in the game. Yeah. Last year we had Romanegi, you know, Pez Six, we had Adriano and all those kind of mystical players. But I, it's a very, it's a very hard one, man, because it's very hard to, to, to find a balance because I've always said it like, it's like, it's very hard. Like when you're creating content to not talk about the packs and the coins and the whole like system that's actually in place because that's all that's there. Like, do you know what I mean? There's, gonna, there's nothing else to talk say. about. It's like we either stop, like I put up a kind of a tongue in cheek message last week and I like people when they talk to me on Twitter, like I don't block them. I'll engage with them once they don't go personal. Even if they have a completely different opinion than me, like I'll engage with them and I'll say, well, look, like how, you know, this is how I see it. This is how you see it, whatever. But I kind of put up a message to someone and I was like, what do you want us to post about? Like, do you want us to post up pictures of dogs and cats? Like, because, you know, people are following us as a Pez account. There's people enjoying Dream Team. There's people that want to know about the packs and their stats and how much they cost. So it's like, where do you, like, where do you draw the line that it's not like Master League is there and we're choosing to ignore Master League to promote the packs or talk about the packs. 
There's literally nothing else to talk about at the moment. Like Dream Team yeah. is basically eFootball at the moment. Yeah. And I just think it's hard, you know, it's very hard to for people to understand that. That as you said, Game Over UK, like there's a huge amount of people that love the classic Master League experience and all that. And they seem to be very vocal about like, oh, Pez is dead, you know, how can he like support this or whatever? But then there's also a massive like influx of new community or fan base members coming in or fans coming in that like are like singing from the same hymn sheet as you are, that they love Dream Team. What about Team. all those mobile mobile gamers from yeah. last winter and what if they never like, had Master League? Millions. Yeah, millions. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I get it. And and that's the thing, that the, the primary fan base has shifted. If you if you turn around to Konami in the morning and said, Right, you've got to <laughs> you've got to kick one of your your entities to the curb, which one are you kicking? Is it PC, Xbox, PS five or, or, or mobile? Mobile would be the first one they say save out of the burning building. Mm. Like, that's the first. Yeah. Uh, they go, I'll take that one. You three can fend out for yourselves. Like that, that. But that's. But that's again. It's 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 stuff that is said, not with the intention of like, oh well, you know, guess what? This is the th- the case. It's just it's it's a matter of fact. If you mm. took the numbers and you broke it down, that's where your users are. You have a bunch of people who can play on their mobile device, don't own a next-gen console, don't own a high-end PC, Mm -hmm. who can literally just pick up their mobile phone and go, bing, okay, I can go and play. Oh, I've got Figo, I've got uh, Becca Baron, I've got uh, Vieira. Great, awesome, off I go. I can (laughs) play while I'm on the bog. Like, that, that, that's, that's where, you know, from an accessibility standpoint, that, that's where it is. And to, to take game's point as well, the eFootball going from one extreme to the other was further compounded by the way that FIFA then did their SBCs. Mm. A lot of what FIFA have done this year is they've gone right. Instead of us, when we do our team of the season stuff, let's just take that, for example, because it's what's popular at the moment. Instead of us going, here's a bunch of team of the season stuff, instead what they then did was, here's a bunch of team of the season stuff, but also here's some tokens that you can earn during the game or you can do certain objectives, you can earn tokens, and then you can cash those tokens in for whichever one of these SPCs mm. that you want. You can do them all, you can do a little, you can take packs, you can take icons, you can take whatever it is that you want. It's giving that element of control back to the player, and that's where everyone went, oh, do you know what, actually? When they first thought of swaps, they went, oh, this is an awful idea. Mm. And then as soon as people started playing through it and went, Oh, actually, that means I can get a that means I can get like a, an iconic mo I can get an icon moments the ninety three plus or I can get this or I can get that or depending on what you wanted to do with your team you can go and do that it's that element of freedom so in one sense Konami have given it back by okay your managers aren't tied to tactics anymore you can play the way that you want you can put whoever in that you want all of that good stuff they've given you freedom in one sense but then they've almost taken it a little bit away with the other granted I understand you can buy you buy players with GP. But you can't buy features. You can't yeah, open. Yeah. You can't open. Legends you can't you. open. You can't open the legends box with GP like you used to be able to. You can't do any of this stuff. Like you can't do that anymore. Mm. So it's like you are kind of, as Game said, you're pigeonholed in essentially to. I've got a stick of five run and hope I get something. Or yeah. I've got a, you know, and and you know, not to put too fine a point on it into in today's economy, especially in the UK. Like there's there's a lot of different dynamics going on right now mm. and. I think people looking potentially at gaming as an escapism and then they're met with paywalls left and right. Mm. In every so, game. Oh, okay. In every game. So, and, and that's, uh, yeah, and that's more of a summary point in gaming yeah. in general is that you're just hit with paywalls left and right. But more importantly, the only thing I would say is that if you are a new player to eFootball, you're loving life. Mm. Because you've got packs. You've got these new things that you can buy. They're optional extras. You can buy them if you want to. You can get yourself kickstarted. You can do all these things, which is great if you're a brand new player, which is great. I just think that one, the price points aren't quite where they should be, and two, you can further make the point of whether they should be price pointed in the first place. But that, mm. but like we've said before, companies have to make money. It's a free to play game. Like I don't necessarily like it, but I understand the the, the methodology behind it. Mm. Like there's, the a is, there's a difference between liking. There's a difference between understanding it and liking it. That's yeah. That, that's the fundamental point. The thing is, you don't even need those legends, and you don't need the feature players, and. This also goes against, I think, promoting eFootball. Like, I was playing on, on stream and I was going to get the Chelsea pack or something. And there was a guy on my stream saying he was Division 1, top 20. And he's like, don't get those. It's, they're not worth it. You might as well just buy them with <clears throat> some GP. Mm. Yeah, some people don't have enough GP. But if you grind enough, you can, you can get the GP and you can get those players. Some of the 
normal players that are actually better than the yeah, legend players. That's yeah. true. So it's just the illusion, what, man. That's what it is. It's the illusion, illusion of something shiny. That's and they do market it that way. That it's like yeah. you know, like but for example, Sun Sun is like unbelievable in the game. His stats yeah. are better than Romario down the line, but like mm. you're gonna want Romario because it's Romario. Do you know what I mean? It's like R ten. Do you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But then with, with with FIFA and their kind of marketing and strategy, they have this training method of uh, training the methods. It's almost trying to appease the players that don't want to spend the money. But in theory, the right way of doing it is the FIFA way, even though that you maybe end up spending more money. But the elusiveness of a... Mm, 91 rated Neymar versus a 90 rated because he's a team of the season mm. actually helps the game get bigger and has gets more eyes on it just because of that one point rate uh, overall rated yeah or, or yeah. if it's like say for example they have a flashback Neymar and everyone's yeah. like oh my god it's it's the one that looks like he's from Santos and it's yeah. like yeah great it, it, it looks shiny for all of about four minutes until yeah. yeah but that's what it is it's the illusion of <laughs> yeah yeah and 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 that's and that uh, and there's there's a little bit of smoke and mirrors behind this and game makes a great point there in the sense of it's quite right you know and we've seen it from the database as well is that actually you can train the mm -hmm. regular versions of these players to a better degree than the featured yeah or, or, or some of the most maybe. of the legends now and and the only the only the only other critique i would probably say of the system is is that they had something very good with the nominating contracts they had something very good and they still do except they've parked it behind the objectives mm. and parked it behind the premium one if that if those contracts for example if the five stars or the four stars then came as part of the login bonuses as we see normally where it's like oh well you've got two and a half k gp or you've got 200 e football points if that took a slot in there or if they even just put that in as like oh if you lock in seven days in a row yeah there's there's a five star nominated contract mm. at least then you're rewarded for coming back into the game repeatedly for something that you could go oh, okay well i can go and get that shiny declan rice that's in there right now or i yeah. can go and get one of the the special uh kind of european club star players whatever they're called like i can go and get one of them but instead it's then tied to this yeah to this to this kind of thing and it's mm. like there's there's other avenues <laughs> other ways you can do this you don't have to go down always the it costs coins or it costs this or it costs that you know as as game will probably attest to there's people who will happily spend hours and hours playing this game because they enjoy the hell out of it allow those players to just grind their way to it and if you've got people who are going I can't be bothered. Got too much time. I haven't got enough time. I've got too much money. I want to go and do what I want with my money. Let them go ahead and let them do that. So at, at least have it from both directions. Because some players might look at it and go, oh "God, I've got to spend forty hours just as a ballpark figure. Yeah. I've got to get forty hours to get a, a chance at a legend." Oh, oh, well, actually, that's that's fine because you know I, I stream or I create content. Fine. Uh, or you might have some people go, oh, "Actually, or you can pay five hundred coins and you can get yourself." Mm. Oh, do you know what? I'll take that instead. Like, yeah, yeah. at least you're giving people the option, yeah. you're not locking it off. And yep. that's, that's, that's been a summary point for most of my, most mm. of my time. No, I 100% agree is, with that. It's just giving giving people the element of choice. If you give them the the element of choice, then then a lot of the criticisms of coin army and, and, and microtransactions and all of these other things, they completely go away then. Because mm. then you can just point to it and go, well, okay, well, you've opted to spend that money. But somebody else has opted to spend their time. You've both got the same reward, mm. and then that, and then, and then some people may look at that and go, "Ah, oh, that's that's a stupid way of doing it." But if you're talking about fairness and you're talking about a kind of equality between players, that's a perfect way to do it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think some people think look at the legends and think, "Oh, I need to get a legend," <laughs> but you can trade, but or you know, to, to get a better striker, for example. But you. Um, you guys did a um, an, an amazing series on the on the best. Young talent, mm. yeah, that'd be you, Barry. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Barry. So yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, some of those players can get really good, in yeah, man. Wise, yeah. So there is. So it's just it, it's it's all it's kind of all in your head, really. I think. It's, I think it's um, just the illusion of of as yeah. you said sh something shiny. That's what it is. It's the illusion yeah. of it. If you go in and look at the the details, like as I said, like versus Son versus Romario, like. You can turn Son into probably the best player in the game. He like goes 93 overall, pretty much identical stats to Romario, faster, 
Like the only thing he's lacking is like two or three points on finishing, which doesn't make a difference anyway. Mm. Like, but it is that illusion of this is what we're pushing. Like you saw last week, and it's again, it's it's as Wes said. I do agree with it's it's that that truth that nobody wants to kind of accept, or the guys that are in denial of it. And I don't blame him for being in denial because Pez means a lot to a lot of people, and it always has. And we grew up with the series and everything. But like at the end of the day. You only need to look, right? Konami tested the waters with the iconic moments back. The iconic moment versions of PES 2021, I think, or PES 2020. So like, yeah, where you could obviously, like there was a big, like there was a big, huge, like outpouring on on social media. I remember it at the time vividly because people were like, like, what is this? Like you can buy players. Oh my God, you're going to have like a hundred rated Messi and whoever, Burkamp, whoever. And then, that slowly shifted from this is outrageous to people pre ordering five <laughs> versions of the game to get the coins yeah. and could they stack? And Konami tested the waters with that, right? So, like, I know we all are like romantics at the end of the day, right? And we all like to have nostalgia, like memories of everything in Pez and all that, like Pez 5, the old legends and all that, right? But at the end of the day, right? And this is what people don't want to understand. And it's 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 points like these that I make that are very like simplified that you know people will say, you know I'm not crit- critical enough. But at the end of the day, in the real world, right? If you own a restaurant and you're selling hamburgers, and then you start to do pizzas a week later, and you start to sell twice as much pizzas as burgers, are you going to stay selling burgers if it means that you can sell pizzas for the same amount of work for double the profit? And I'm not saying that's right. And as you said, Wes. How far is too far yeah, yeah, before that, it comes yeah. a product like become before it becomes literally they're basically selling coins. Like Konami could just bring out a game where they're selling coins with nothing to pay for it and people yeah, like probably I, do like it. I'm, I'm like I get that, but I'm half expecting to like, you know, every time I press X to be have a prompt to go are you, are you <laughs> 20, 20 coins to go like, into the main menu. And it's just like it but it's it's it hammers you. It yeah. really does. Yeah. Every time you go into the game you look at different things, you just go everything costs everything yeah like, everything costs. yeah, yeah. but gaming just... is just but everything's moved to that now man like everything is now like it's you, you go onto youtube now like there's more ads on youtube now i can't even watch my own videos on youtube without looking at ads like i'm like come well, on like I who's this to fucker podcast uh, last week and you were talking about the was it the week before the godzilla yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 but that's a cosmetic so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah if you want to spend money on that spend money on that but like and going back to, and I don't like going back to it because I don't like the gameplay at all, but FIFA does it the right way. Mm. That you, you have SBC, spend time doing it, or buy the FIFA points and just try to... Yeah. Uh, but that's the like thing, I as I said, it's they tested the waters with the iconic moments, and the people that are saying like that, like, nobody's playing the game anymore, like, wh- where do you think they're getting the data from that's, like... Mm that's encouraging them to go down this route like where yeah. where is that data coming from who's playing this game if it's not if you scroll through twitter and you look at the people giving out about it their criticisms are warranted their frustrations are justified but like who's actually supporting konami going off and buying a license or getting a new license or getting new legends into the squad like getting drug bad that's a new legend getting makalele like like they tested the waters with the iconic moments People supported it multiple times. And then people are like, oh my God, they're actually going to go, they're even going to go further now with that idea. Gee, who would have thought it? Like, it's like what you said, like Game Over, it's FIFA tested with the SPCs. Now they've doubled down on that where they're like, okay, if you want to grind, we'll make you grind. If you want to pay, we'll make you pay. And that's, that's the way it is, man. Like, I just, I, I don't understand it. Sometimes I'd be scratching my head thinking like, how don't people understand that this is a business decision and Gaming has moved on from PES 5 and PES 6. I don't have to and say that I, I, I don't like that. Like, I would love if they brought out a Master League this year and an edit mode. And I'd be, ha- I'd be happy till, I'd say, about April next year. I'd be, like, tiling away, doing everything. And I'd be grand for a year. But that's yeah, not really, the way gaming really is, man. In that, uh, if um, Master League came out, he, he doesn't know if he'll go back to it because he is enjoying Dream Team so much. Yeah. But so, those are the type of people, like, they're in the minority that... I say this to Wes the whole time. The minority, of, the majority of people, when they're using Twitter, 
they're not commenting, calling us sellouts and calling me like mm. whatever, right? They're just mm. literally playing the game as they play Warzone or they play NBA 2K or they play God of War and they go about their day. Do you know what I mean? Because it's just part of their game and life cycle. The same way as I don't put up what I'm watching on Netflix at the moment. You know what I mean? I don't use the Pez Universe account for that or any of the lads that use the account aren't putting up, oh, so I was at the doctor today. Like it's not, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's relevant to eFootball and Pez and that's it. So the majority of people using social media that I know, like Shales is a really good example. I would have literally put anything on the line to say Shales would not enjoy eFootball. And he's loving it. Like Now he's playing a lot of the AI, but he's also dabbled with playing the divisions and he's loving it. And yeah. Shales is probably the longest term Pez fan that we know, me and Wes know anyway. Like he's the biggest Master League fan I've ever met, knows everything. He's like an encyclopedia. And he's fully adapted, as you say, game. Like, there's people like that that are adapting to Dream Team, enjoying it, and they're like, eh, yeah, why play against the AI when I can, you know, play against this guy and, like, get a last minute winner when it plays well and whatever? And yeah. It's just, it is hard because it's, it's a very hard topic that, like, there's only so much that you can beat them down for not including stuff like Master League before the topic has to come by. Well, okay, well, what can we talk about? What can we criticize? Like, yeah, yeah mass, that, was, you know. that, was a, that was a whole lot I, I kind of fell into where I'd just come onto the podcast and I'd just been yeah. it felt it felt like the first three months like through September through December just literally smacking my head off the, off the <laughs> like it, that's literally what it felt like because that was the, the source of irritation Yeah, and like you know and that doesn't that doesn't go like it doesn't go away it just kind of go like like I said before you go through like kind of like the five stages mm. of, of almost grief <laughs> I'm very much at acceptance now where I'm just like okay fine this this is where we're going great let's 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 go down the rabbit hole and, and see where we end up like it, yeah it, it's you know we're in a we're in a free to play cycle of a game mm. we you know I think I think you know if 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 truth be told and everybody was honest with each other, people already expected it to be as micro microtransaction heavy as it has been. Mm. And I think it's it's the word that game use, which is is balance. If they strike that balance between micros and grind, mm. if they struck that balance, if that balance existed, if they had the FIFA like balance in eFootball, I don't think you'd have half of the amount of people who would be going ape as you do now like you know you wouldn't have as many people being angry because there'd be that balance because for every person that goes oh you've just released a bunch of packs for this this and this you go yeah but actually if you grind that objective there if you score 300 goals in the next like yeah. two weeks you get the same reward out yeah it nullifies that entire argument so i'm hoping to see something moving forward yeah they it's just modeled at the moment as you say whereas it, it is because yeah. Because otherwise, that if they keep going down the rabbit hole, they're just going to alienate people. Mm. Like, yes, there'll be some people that'll be absolutely like, show up, take my money. It's Fry from Future Armor. Get, give me my card, <laughs> and I'll go. I'll go ham. But there'll be a whole bunch of other players that'll be going. This is stupid. Yeah. We'll stop doing it. Mm. But uh, it's like you said. It depends on where you get your data from. If you're logging in just to get your bonus every day, that's a, that's an extra login. Mm -hmm. If you play any games on eFootball, that's time spent on the game. Yeah. If you by opening up any packs with coins, that's time and money spent on the game. If you're spending anything with GP, that's spending money. If you're spending anything with eFootball points, that's spending points. Do you know what I mean? So everything that you do is quantifiable data to Konami. Mm -hmm. like regardless of how little or how big you think it is, if you spend 12 hours streaming the game, it's probably just as important as the person that logs in and gets their bonus. Yeah, because it's all the same. It's all it's users, it's, unique it's users. All, it's all data and it's all unique. As I said, you users. So I think as a you know as a point is is that if you don't like the direction they're going in you you just you, you either you either stop playing the game or you just stop playing the game there, mm. there's no other way to kind of show your disgust if you are disgusted with it than mm. to stop playing it but yeah but it's it's important but to have people that have different like it is important yeah. that people like as you say was like dunk on it and stuff like that that's fine but the acceptance has to come eventually that's like whether we agree with it or not and as i said we're we're a podcast like like we started this podcast just to talk about pez originally was right there's yeah. nothing stopping and you've made this point before there's nothing stopping like 
people from making their own YouTube channel and doing YouTube content. There's nothing stopping from people starting. It doesn't matter if one person listens, if it's your mother listening, if it's 100,000 people listening. Like There's nothing stopping from putting your platform out in a long-term media, such as a YouTube video, a stream, or a podcast, right? And I understand that it's like publicly, it's easy to jump on and give a comment and you know, have a debate on an already existing platform. And I'm thankful that anyone that follows us or whatever, whether they agree with us or not, right? And calls us out and stuff. But there has to be an acceptance sometime, eventually, that it's like, wow, like eFootball is actually not Pez anymore. Do you know what I mean? And that that has to come, as you said, game, like it's it's moved on. Like you've made the point. You don't want to play against AI. So the free-to-play microtransaction-centric way that they've gone now kind of speaks to you more than if they were to... Do you know what I mean? So like it's it's kind of like are you less of a Pez fan or less of an eFootball fan now than somebody that played Pez five back in the day? Like it's very do you know, it's yeah, very hard yeah. to quantify it like. Uh, yeah, I've made that point before where it's like it doesn't matter how long you've been playing mm. the game, you're still a fan of the game. It doesn't yeah. matter if you started yeah. on a Super Nintendo or when you started on a PS five, your your opinion and your your content of your opinion mean the exact same it doesn't you know i don't get a shiny badge because i played it when i was four do you know what i mean like i don't get a badge that i can just patrol around and go look at me this is this is this is my 27 year badge. <laughs> like that's, that just doesn't it doesn't work like you know and and you have to personally evolve with what you have that is coming along with it you can't just mm. stay the way that you are you know you kicked off this podcast just to you know as a as a, as a cautionary point you kicked this off and called it the e-football podcast <laughs> right did you like that no because <laughs> it, it felt alien because it wasn't the same but again as a point it's literally a pure example of somebody who is used to something being the way that it is yeah, and then man. going i don't quite like that ah that's that's just jolting so but but it's like a prime example granted it's jovial but you get you get my point yeah and it's like the star wars i made this point with carrasco and carrasco is a huge star wars fan and i've i was talking about this with him the other day like it's like it's like anything that when you bring something back or you reboot something i don't know you guys big star wars fans right but it's like it can apply to anything it applies to anything that was a, a certain way before that was beloved by a certain fan base and then now it's a completely different thing. You know what I mean? And when you start messing with that, or when you start changing it, or you start bringing in characters that weren't in the original, or bringing in storylines that weren't in the original, or whatever, right? It's the same with a game. Like, Pez was Pez back in the day, and it was brilliant. Like, it was a beautiful game series that was, like, AI-friendly, and it was all about the AI and versus you the storylines in Master League. And if that clicked with you, brilliant. If it didn't, now eFootball might be clicking with you in a way that Pez never did with you. You know what I mean? So it's all yeah, yeah. relevant and all relative to what you yeah. actually enjoy and play. And it's the same for any any form of media. Star Wars, some people love the new Star Wars stuff. Some people think it should be in a, you know, it's a dumpster fire of whatever. And it's like, you know, it's like no one's right, no one's wrong. It's just opinions. And as you said, game, like, you know, the free-to-play... And just to kind of segue into that, even though we're already been in it, like the free to play versus microtransactions is like if you're coming in as a newcomer, right, to the series, or you're coming in and you're saying like, oh, check out this game, man, it's quite cool, it's free to play. Like, oh, look at this Neymar. Like, do you think that like, like what are the pros and the cons do you think to the free to play? Apart from obviously, you know, it's free to download and you there's no like investment in it originally. But like, what do you think the pros and cons are? Like, of you know people buying packs and stuff like that um compared to the experience that they get with the game that's a that's That's a a tough tough question question. (laughs) yeah (laughs) because i think in theory they do have the balance in regards to do you have to buy these packs no you don't Mm. because you can train them up you you do not need to buy any pack Mm. so in theory probably the only game i can think of they've actually got it right other than the ones where you just buy cosmetics halo um call of duty Mm, Fortnite, Fortnite, those kind of games um fifa i still think is probably quite heavily based on um you need the coins in order to get the better players um Mm. but they have they have the sbc or a lot of time nba 2k is the very same nba 2k uh, yeah, or you need to get very lucky in rewards. Yeah, yeah. yeah See, yeah. that's the risk-reward uh, then, isn't it? 
Yeah. Well, it's an and RNG I... essentially at that point. Mm. As soon as you open the pack, it's an RNG as to what, yeah. what you get. So. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's um, there's there's ups and downs, isn't there? So mm. like you uh, you buy a thirty pound uh, for six, what, sixty pounds a game now, isn't it on on PlayStation? And what do you get for it? You get kicking the teeth. Here's the game. That's it. <laughs> But what would you say to people that would say to you, like, you're not a real Pez fan? Because you, like, and I'm not saying that, I'm just curious what your mm-hmm. opinion would be if somebody, you know, as they like to do on Twitter, just puts up a comment and says, oh, watch the latest podcast with Game Over UK. And this guy is, like, he's not a real Pez fan. Like, he's never understood massively. He's a fraud. He's a he's fraud. A fraud. <laughs> like, what would you say to that? Like, what, how, would you, how would you argue that point back at them, like? Can you swear on podcast? Well, you can do what you want. <laughs> um, uh, well, I, I played Master League maybe when it was... Um, I, I can't remember if it was in ISS and ISS 2. Uh, definitely when it turned into Pez, I probably um, played a bit of Master League. But I... and, and I, Maybe I'm wrong to say this, but I think... You know when you uh, say... Uh, I don't know if it ever happened, but you just kind of... <laughs> say a rumor it goes around the world and it comes back to you and it almost becomes believable <laughs> i think i was the guy who invented fifa ultimate team and dream team <laughs> at my club because in pez 5 and tell me if i'm wrong because you guys might have done this <laughs> in pez 4 uh pez 4 definitely pez 5 me and my brother and this is because we used to compete all the time this is yeah, why master league doesn't does it yeah 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 because you user. know brother you see like, you, you play and whatever but we used to get 20 uh 100,000 gp or whatever it was called back back in the day and we would build our own team mm. yeah, and yeah we couldn't we couldn't have uh the same player yeah yeah, yeah, yeah more yeah. than three right, players so from the same that? club well, and all these rules yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah fancy <laughs> we, football we style we had a, yeah. we had a similar similar concept with me and my uh my, my middle brother chris who we essentially got to a point where we just go right uh best of five on super teams yeah um, super teams for for those that would worry is that I would go into my room, would pick out my 18 or exactly. 16. Yeah, that was it, man. You'd put exactly. it, Pen and paper you'd put would be it, out. No, no, no. Then you'd put it on your memory card. And oh, yeah. You'd have your home and away. You'd have your home and away. You're posh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was yeah, posh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd, you'd, export, you'd export it onto your micro, uh, on your memory card. you take the memory card next door. you import it into the game next door. And then you'd have you'd have a home leg and a away leg. Oh, and man. You're a real professional by now. Hey, listen, listen. There was a lot of there was a lot of questionable things that went on in my parents' house in relation to Pez tournaments. <laughs> I'm glad up, you added that line. I once, I once, I once, I once woke up to some neighbours at half one in the morning after I took away a penalty with, um, it, I think it was like sixty odd rated Messi. Yeah, when he was like the first Messi that was yeah, in yeah, Pez. Yeah. Like he was in like the reserves bit, and it was called Leo Messi. Oh I my brought god! Him on with, against them, really put him on, and he just ran the show. Uh, and then woke up, took 60 quid out of my uh, pounds. Oh, my brother is <laughs> great for it, great for it. But yeah, I take the point. Yeah, th- there's been mad things like that that occur where you can go, you know, that. but that comes with the creativity of, u- like, users. That comes yeah. with the, oh, yeah. actually, yeah. I can... It's like random selection match, remember that? Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they yeah, should bring that back as a draft mode. Like, they probably it, will it eventually, comes, but... But, it, but that comes from the creativity of the play, and it goes back again to players having to create stuff or players creating stuff, or at least it wasn't necessarily like that back in the day because there was quite a fair bit of content in Master League. Mm, Leagues, yeah. Like, but even at that point, you were still creating content or you're creating your own brand or something. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, it it, it still goes to, I mean, I would say it's more prevalent now because you have people who are making their own types of teams within Dream Team. I saw uh, one uh, streamer that I dropped in on Jimmy the other day who's like, do like a chart on athletic like, oh, like it's like an all-time but it's like an all-time team so he's got like Ezri Konza and then he's got like some of like their players who they've got at the moment Legend. The players who've gone up like but he's going on and trying to take on like ridiculous teams that have got like 2700 team strength and stuff but it comes with its own it comes with its own kind of narrative that you I suppose you create mm. um, yeah yeah I suppose in one sense you know it gives you that freedom to be able to do it now because mm. you know, you've got gp you can earn the gp through at least through the just the regular objectives like you can gain some of the gp granted it's not at the level that you probably want it to be but mm. once it starts to recruit it starts to make a little bit more kind of sense yeah um so you, you do have a bit of freedom to to kind of create that and i think 
you know, I think I think it's just it's all going to be kind of realistic now down to how how do they evolve the gameplay? Because yeah, the, the gameplay like, ties it all together. It should tie it all together, yeah. shouldn't it? it has I mean, to like. like. I mean, it's like we've we've seen stuff where you know they've gone. Oh, here are our patch notes, and it says that we've you know we fixed the or at least we've we've at least amended some of the, mm. the stuff at kickoff and stuff. And granted, I saw it kind of firsthand last weekend uh, when I was to the the football championship pro series, and it was like saw saw essentially what was a kickoff goal mm. and you even hear you even hear them at one point <laughs> shouting the words kickoff like yeah, yeah, they're yeah. going stop the kickoff protect, put it, stop the kickoff so it's like if your pro players are telling you yeah. to protect the kickoff protect the kickoff then it's painfully apparent that that's not being sorted like yeah. so it's like but then i suppose as me and game had before we went live with the podcast you've got a discussion point as to how much should the game be sorting that out and how much should you mm. as a user be sorting that out. Yeah, well, and you guys were having a right good chat before the podcast <laughs> went live while I was doing a couple of bits and pieces, right? So I want to get back to that because you had some brilliant points, right? Of that balance again, we're talking about balance, like concepts versus each other or like gameplay things versus each other. And like game, you made a good point of how much is the kickoff as you said, was just there. How much of it is user enabled that you can stop it or user disabled, I should say, that you can stop it like in its tracks by pulling your DMF back or pulling a player back? Like, do you think that that's kind of a thing that people just depend on to do the games AI to do themselves? Like, or do you like, like, because you said you didn't really notice the kickoff that much. Um, whereas like I've noticed it a good bit like anytime I've played at divisions you get the like you get people trying to do it from kickoff like I've noticed yeah. it a good bit but you it's said you good. haven't really kind of noticed or conceded too many goals from it um, yeah so in PES 2021 or before this V1.1.1 um, you would have to drag your defender back mm. and you could you could stop it if you if you concentrated and I, I think I think if you're going to go down to the go down to the granular of this is a simulation game. Well, you should be concentrating. Mm. You should be expecting that to happen. And it happens to me that a kickoff glitch, somebody scores a kickoff, and I get pissed off. I smash the table. <laughs> but I think to myself, I should have been concentrating. <laughs> uh, it, it, and so, uh, but I, I, on the on the uh, and also though, when you are actually defending, and you you've now uh, you know a three ball's coming over, you shouldn't exp you shouldn't uh, rely on your AI to mark that player you should get that defender and maybe just drop off a little bit because you know it's going to go over and then you've made that space and then you, you can collect the ball so to me there is no kickoff glitch Wes he's a brave man he's a brave man I'm telling you, you know he's what? a brave that's, man do you know what he's done there he's put the shades on deliberately because that's <laughs> going to be clipped up and that's going to be the deal with it that's what's going to be that's he's a brave man I'm telling you nah. he's, he's... I, I respect and understand the viewpoint of game i respect and understand it however there shouldn't be a case where your ai is so lax that it doesn't register anything for example the ball's in the air yeah i would as an expectation i would at least have the defender before i start controlling should at least be looking for that ball in yeah. terms of if it's in the air yeah right yeah whereas at the moment as as we kind of spoke pre pre podcast it's it's a lot seems to be geared within those team tactics as in, it, depending on who, depending on who the game registers as having the ball, is dependent on how many players are moving at one time. So, for example, let's say are, okay, ignore e, ignore e football, e football. Talk, if we go I'm slowly back backing away here, I'm getting worried. I'm slowly <laughs> backing away. Pairs twenty twenty one, where they yep. still had the same glyphs they still had the compactness and stuff like that. What about in there? Because in theory, to me, it was exactly the same. It didn't matter if it's compactness or not. You would have to get your defender. And make sure he's uh, he's got space. He's you, you pull him back towards the goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in terms of how I look at things from from at least from a twenty twenty one standpoint, and even from a twenty twenty standpoint, and even further beyond that, mm -hmm. because it's been a problem for a while, as we yeah. as we all very much know, mm. kickoffs or at least the iterations of kickoff have been a problem for a while. My point of view is that if if I if my defender sees a player running, so if my defender sees a player running. He should at least at the very minimum be tracking that run yeah at least then until i get a hold yeah. of him because yeah. then i can decide yeah. okay either i'm going to stop the defender's run or i'm going to follow that person's run the issue that obviously at the moment you have is once you once you select a player mm. it almost 
breaks. Yeah, it breaks animation. Yeah, and they go, they go yeah. oh god, I'm in human control. Oh, no, wait, no, yeah. and now I've lost, yeah. and now I've lost any kind of directional momentum that I had. Instead, that's where it breaks. Mm. So, for me, it should be, at the very least, it should at least track them. I'm not asking for the game to defend for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. I love the fact that I can go out and I, I can choose to make a challenge and I know that if I make a challenge or if I don't make a challenge or if I miss time a challenge and I'm out of position, I will get punished for it. Yeah. I love yeah. that aspect. Do not get me wrong. I don't want it to be a case where it's like, Autobots, defend my goal. Like, <laughs> I don't want that because it's just like, no, don't want that. For me, what? it's going to the extreme though. Like, the people have been trying kickoff glitches, uh, kickoff um, goals for me and I have done hardly anything to move. The, uh, like, I don't, almost need to do anything and the and i know that there'll be a block in this way so i i haven't i would love to see that goal i've been watching some of the football stuff but uh you know the pro so i haven't seen that goal what formation do you play that. what formation do you play more like uh, pos possession uh four three three four three three okay yeah and i i don't see it at all uh mm. what actually used to piss me off is in pest 2021 it was broken um either it was possession or 433 with an anchor if um you had an anchor uh, if you had an anchor and th they managed to get past your anchor your your center backs were split yeah yeah that was a huge issue before yeah uh, it doesn't happen as much now no um but it, but that, it can that, still that happen issue. though it can still it happen can still happen yeah. yeah yeah but you have to be clever. again you have to get your defender and drag him back um so yeah for now people try it because they they always try it and i'm think they're not going to get through and it's never happened to me mm. no wes think... <laughs> yeah, there you go fine. wes yeah, you, saw, yeah, you yeah. saw it live so i mean yeah, I, yeah. And, that, and that's the thing it's like you see it live and yes there was I think there was one or two maybe shoulder charges in there that maybe could have happened if my memory serves me right but ultimately it was literally back one pass and you know you hold our one and and then it's you know over the top through ball and 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 pray and, and and but then in real life football i mean you've seen goals score like that before as well so exactly. there has to be a That's random no i know yeah. i know i'm, I'm okay. just talking to fellow players yeah, yeah, i guess I, I was about i was about to say there ain't no puskas winner of a kickoff <laughs> let's have that right no, Peter right, no, style. My, my, my point is is that my point for that is that it, it may happen in real life and things that happen in the game may happen in real life but not to the level of regularity that it does it mm. shouldn't be the 90th minute and everyone's knackered and yet somebody can pull off a kickoff goal. Do you know what mm. I mean? It shouldn't be a case where, you know, that type of thing happens. Like, there's 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 things in the game that, that irk me because, yes, all right, like I said, they happen IRL, but not to the level, that, or not to the level of consistency that it happens. Mm. I've spoken before about animations that annoy me where, you know, there's the, it's like the skill term, which I pointed out on the- Oh page, yeah, the is, contextual you don't, thing. You don't, you don't have any control over whether that happens or not. Yeah. Is, it pure, is it the pirouette it's, it's or like something? Yeah, the pirouette. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, so yeah. you have no, you have no control over whether that ball, it's because you can either have a chance that is on, yeah, and then it gets wrecked because of that. Yeah, mm. or you can have it where it just turns, even though you don't want it to. It smashes straight into a defender. Yeah, yeah. I think it's when you pull back, but then you ex still expect them to carry on with the ball. Yeah, yeah. it's certain it's players do it. It's certain players yeah. do it. And it's and it's contextual. It's like the so kick, yeah. no, the kick out. Yeah, so you've got no, you've got no control over that. And and as I said, last podcast, I think the 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 arc for some players is is there is a there's an element of a lack of control within mm. the game like the, you do, if you don't feel in control of your own gameplay you're gonna go well this is stupid yeah you start that i i did an episode last night and it was it was recorded two days ago so it was before the update today so the gameplay was from v1.1 not v1.1.1 um which is very confusing by the way but I, I played a match and it was probably, I was saying it to you guys before the podcast, it was probably my worst, one of my worst matches that I played in about 70 plus matches. Like it was just so like crazy. And the guy messaged me after and it was like, you know, like he beat me and he was like, what was your, what was your like, you know, are you playing on Wi-Fi? And I said, no, no, like I'm wired. Like I have a thousand meg like wired, yeah. like fiber, like I don't know, five or five, 300 up and thousand down. That's my speed. Like, and never an issue. And he was like, oh, yeah, I'm playing 500 meg as well Wi-Fi. And I was like, aha. Uh -huh. I said, you're playing 500 meg Wi-Fi. Fair enough. Um, that speed should be enough. But like the game just to me felt like it was, I just had no control over the players. But I think a lot of the thing, what I'm seeing from like conceding goals and stuff, that's becoming more apparent in the last couple of games I played. 
especially when I score goals, like the majority of goals that I score is literally the same breakdown of attack that has worked for years on football games. It's you squared into your striker, you touch and go, and then you peel the shoulder of the of the defender. Yeah. And that's, that's how you score 90% of goals. That's how we all score 90% of goals. And it's the one-two passing triangles, like touch and yeah. go, touch and go, let your, the player's momentum the, run them yeah. forward. And I think that's a bigger issue than the kickoff because you see it happen three, four times a game because people are conditioned to play that way. But well, as you said, Wes, it's it's hard to balance. I, say, I think I think part I think part of that though would be it wouldn't be so bad if the input delay mm. wasn't the way that it. Was. Well, when the input delay is bad, man, of, it's in the sense of in the sense of and uh, granted, this is a very small sample size, ladies and gentlemen. But I played two games before I came on to record. One game was sluggish, and I'm talking like. You know, ants running through treacle type of sluggish. You were leg, sh- you were leg cheating, man. It was every, it was every, <laughs> it was every, it was every, every press of a button. It was like extra second, extra second, extra second, extra second. I go into the second game. It's like lightning quick. It's yeah. In like everything is responsive. It's a mixed bag at the and, moment. And, and, and like, uh, and bear in mind, those were events. They weren't even in the football league. And I cannot understand how a game in the year 2022 is so Jekyll and Hyde when it comes to their online connections mm. because I just don't I don't understand it I, I I it just it blows my mind because you know we're meant to have had the online performance test we're meant to have had all of these things that were meant to sort out what was amazing by the way right. in regards to in, in regards connection to yeah. you could see you could see what you could see what um What's the word? You can see what device they were playing mm-hmm. on. You can see PlayStation. You saw that symbol. You can see how their connection looked. You can see what connection they were playing on. I think if I remember rightly. You yeah, I think you're right. Wireless. All that's gone from the game now. Yeah, so I can't it's all tell hidden now. Any... It's all hidden. So I'm mm. like, okay, well, how am I meant to know whether I'm playing against wired or wireless? I could have a three bar or five bar or have a, many of the, the max bars. Is I can have a five star connect or five bar connection, and everyone's like, great, yeah, but it's five bar Wi-Fi, and it plays. Like I said, answering yeah. through treacle. Mm-hmm. Whereas if it's a five star, it's a five bar, you know, wired connection that somebody who's got forty million meg download or upload or whatever the case may be, it will play smooth as silk, and it'll be like I was playing next door to them. Yeah. So do you I, guys I, I do you guys get that issue where it stops and then it speeds up? Yeah, quickly? it's a tiny speed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It happens so multiple times. Some years. I actually think it's actually on your end as an our end because yeah 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 it why. is because i play at home and i get it all the time but i play at work and i've got at work of where i am now i have a 60 meg download and at home i have a 200 meg download but i believe because at work i have a business broadband connection at home i have a, a residential broadband connection i believe the home one sorry the the work one it has a better retention rate so mm. you're gonna get a lot um you're gonna get more almost through, more bandwidth through a, uh, for the same amount of pipe. Yeah. I never, I've never ever have got that issue when I'm at work. Yeah, but it, it also depends as well. Like when I'm playing, as I said, I play, if I'm playing on the same connection the whole time, it also depends on who's, like whose connection it downgrades to. Because if I have yeah. a thousand meg, yeah. I not, like, and somebody oh, yeah. has, like I've yeah. played guys that have, like I played one of my, one of my friends and he had eight meg. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So he can't play at my connection. So it it, is, is, it goes to his. He's actually enough. That you don't yeah, need, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I think the recommendation is like something like five or six. Yeah, it is. So yeah. It, it is yeah. It's actually more of a, ser- a server issue from Konami's end. Than yeah, I think so. Yeah. Else. I think they're just, I think to be honest with you, they're just, the servers are overloaded. Like there's, there's like if you funny, go into the playstation though, store it's top yeah. it's top 10 and in downloaded yeah, games like. yeah and, so, I'd, and I'd, I'd exercise caution because I, you're gonna see it a lot today because I'm, I'm guessing this this podcast will probably go up this evening um and, and yeah man drop it like it's hot people you'll see a lot of people doing reaction videos you'll see a lot of people doing the here's what's new in, in uh, gameplay wise in in v 1.1.1 the issue becomes is that you'll have a lot of hot takes where people will go oh this thing's amazing they, yeah. oh, they got, they fixed everything yeah. when actually You've got to literally consider the following: what time of day you're playing, mm-hmm. it, how many people are on the server at that time, um, what game mode you're playing, what type of game mode that you're playing. Are you playing events? Are you playing against the AI? Are you playing offline, online? All of these other variables. 
before anything and and i would exercise extreme caution of people going this thing's brilliant because at the end of the day you're not going to know for weeks whether it's good or yeah not. you need to play multiple with, games as yeah as we know with football games with, with fighting games shooting games the lot you're not going to know the true testing you've been playing it for weeks until you start to see people who find the uh, exploits for lack of a better term mm -hmm. you're not going to know until you reach that point in a couple of weeks time or you know three or four weeks or however long you want to give it you're not going to know until you have that sample data bro this is what we know can I, send, uh, can I send? Can I? Can I send a cat? A cat in, among the pigeons here. Yeah, go you know, for it. <laughs> um, you know, um, when they did the update, I think it was a Thursday, and the pro, the first pro games were on Monday. Was it Monday? Which the e football? Champion. Yeah, yeah. No, they were on the Saturday. Saturday, yeah. Yeah, Saturday. Sunday. Yeah, so Saturday, 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 Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think uh, Thursday, e Thursday night, Friday night, they were they were terrible. Or um oh, it was a week before v v.1 uh, v.1 came back it was but anyway the whole <laughs> a, a whole of that time before the before the so the run-up before the actual championship uh the pro games came out the servers are terrible uh i think they they it was a whole it was actually a whole week so yeah uh, i remember because they had the extended like they extended yeah. it like big time and then they dropped the whole Oh, we might randomly kick you off for maintenance. Yeah, yeah, that was happening yeah. for no ages. Reason why. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Like, a like day eleven o'clock at night, the the servers were uh, really good because mm. I used to just uh, after I finished uh, doing my work, or whatever, eleven o'clock, and it used to be working fine. And before that, it was working terrible. And I was saying to my mate, I was like, I guarantee you, they'll be working fine for the pro games. <laughs> they must so, have put. They must have hired more servers for right. that I, for that weekend because. It is Here's the thing, I, I don't I don't know the inner the inner workings of how they've got the only thing I know or the only thing that I've seen is the teams are locked to two thousand three hundred and this will probably be where we roll into mm -hmm. the yeah. football the football championship chat is the teams are locked to two thousand three hundred in terms of they have the ability to train up whoever they want as long as it falls within that bracket yeah I, I i had a couple of people message me who found it highly funny that we saw essentially some white benching going on to keep themselves <laughs> to 2300 people find that hilarious i i kind of silently chuckled because <laughs> i saw i saw people's benches and i saw like buying it was like vendor merch okay, so side i see i see, I see Alph alfonso davis is at raid 80 and then who's this guy that's rated 56 mm. like who is this guy <laughs> like but you can understand why they're doing it because yeah, they're yeah. they're having to make choices and originally when i I looked at how the, the 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 rules have been put together and the stat balancing mode wasn't there i immediately recoiled in horror because i was like that that that's that's something that's really gonna like you know yeah people but then once it was explained to me of they're locked to they they can go up to 2300 they can do as they wish with their teams i was like ah that adds a little bit of a different wrinkle to it so it's a case of do you prioritize your starting 11 to have all of the maximum um, the attributes for their tactic so you get the overall boosts mm -hmm. or do you focus solely on getting the player mm -hmm. stats up so mm -hmm. it added a different wrinkle for me so originally i was like oh i didn't like it now actually i look at it you look at like celtic's performance 12 12 points out of 18 they only lost mm -hmm. only, only dropped only dropped uh they dropped two losses but they managed like kills you first game of the day beats us Maccabeal, and like it was do you think it should random. be like that though do you think it should be that there's a rating or you should uh just do it like fifa does and it's just the best players the best team? i i think i think that the way that eFootball's got it or at least the way that this has got it and this and before anybody goes a little oh but he works in the broadcast team so that he's definitely gonna air on their side uh, i still believe this regardless is that i feel as though that's having... a great Ker kermit yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. um but having that ability to choose your own direction so you know like for example mm. with fifa for example with fifa and with their e-champions league or you'll see them all have very much similar sides you'll see prime your moments pull it you'll see prime r9 you'll see pele and all of these other donny's teams of the seasons all this other stuff whereas actually with with the e-football side of things you've got players who are utilizing the players that they have for example maeda and kyogo were probably the two standout players for celtic I think Maeda, I think for I think it might have been for Kilzu, it's only rated eighty one. But he was absolutely smashing bods who were, you know, uh, I think it was like Upper Makano, like Kimmich, who were all like quite highly really? higher leveled. I prefer it like that because at least even you know, it got it also goes against the narrative of, well, if you've got the, the higher rated team, then you're gonna win. Whereas if you watch some of those games back and you watch the way that Celtic performed, 
they were they were head and shoulders the best team in that group do you not think then uh, and we speak about uh, in length now from uh Masley to dream team to uh pay to free to play with microtransactions and now from the original way you've been doing it where they have teams specific teams by munich man united celtics etc mm. do you not think that in next year let's say that they will have tournaments where it's just basically uh, based on dream team players i don't know I don't know. That's a good point. The answer is, it, 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 Isn't that how FIFA do it? Do you have you yeah, can use your dream saying. team? Or your... Surely that if they're going to promote dream team, that's yeah, the way probably will eventually go it that would, way, won't it? It would, it would, it would stand to reason, especially if the if the pro, if, I mean I know some of the pros before the tournament started, they were like, "I oh, here's my team going up against like 96 level etc." And mm. I'm like, "Yeah, okay, fine, but you can still defend against him. It's just yeah. tough." Yeah, and, and also, and also, the point I'd make for for, and I made the point I made on commentary was, was that some of these players were not utilizing the squads they had to the squads, like to the squads obvious attributes that they have. For mm. example, Bayern and anybody who was coming up against Celtic were all trying air balls, and it's mm. like they've got they've got uh, Starfelt, they've got like players who are of significant height. Because... And it's just you're just gonna head the ball out every five seconds. Yeah. Like if the ball's gonna go long to Bitten and you're trying to out jump it with Leroy Sane, it's just not gonna work. Yeah. Like regardless of how good Sane is, aerially Bitten's gonna have him every time. Mm -hmm. So I do prefer this way of doing it, even though originally I, my original reaction to it was, Ooh, and then I kind of thought about it. And, and you, you made a great point there, but it seems to me they they they're actually thinking in, in backwards because. Celtic are never going to have players as high rated as if you max them out both Bayern and Celtic. Celtic will never have a high um, overall rated higher rated team than Bayern. So in theory, <coughs> they're 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 limiting the um, the team rating just so they can fit other teams in. Yes and no, because if you think about the Celtic players that they have, you would imagine that the levels that they can go to. For example, if you were to max out a Kyogo or a Maeda, I mean, I don't have the, the database in front of me, but that would be, it, they've probably got quite a high level. Yeah, their individual stats would be fairly equivalent. like. But, right. but the, but the <clears> issue <throat> then becomes for Celtic is, do you spend all your training points on getting those mm. there, or do mm. you round your squad out? And I think yeah. that's, the, that's the bit that's the interesting part for me, mm. which is looking for whether players are thinking, oh, well, I'll just get Ronaldo maxed out, for example, with United. They they get Ronaldo maxed out, but then they've got to figure out what players they can power up to fit underneath that. Yeah, you know. So it's yeah. like, do they go with Rashford? Do they go with Cavani? Do they go with yeah. who, whoever? Because they mm -hmm, can't yeah. fit them all in, so they have to make choices along the way, which I think is, uh, like I say, is the is the intriguing part to looking at their team tactically because you can go, but well, hold on a minute, that's the reason why they've gone with that. For example, we didn't see Manuel Neuer in a in a in a, in, a, in, a, in any Bayern Munich team mm. because if they'd have had Neuer in there would have put them way over the top. So instead, they powered up Ulrich, who's their second choice keeper. Mm -hmm. yeah. doesn't cost as much on the points. Clever. I think so it's a very like, clever way of doing yeah, it. it is I, cool. I still it's think unique. that Dream Team, Dream Team will take <clears throat> over, though. Yeah, they'll just do that with Dream Team players. They'll just have... Well, I suppose they'll I suppose they'll probably take feedback in of the, the, the players themselves, mm. I would imagine, of mm. do you prefer doing it this way or do you not prefer doing it this way? Because yeah. I think before, before a ball was kicked and before it was properly kind of looked at and explained nobody will go on well Celtic will take 12 points out of 18 yeah and, and you know you know there'll be five points clear of Bayern Munich in mm. second place and they'll be looking down on everybody else like nobody pre predicted that before a ball was kicked but then when you look at the players who are in control of them that's where that equal that kind of it's almost the equalizer it's the okay they might not have a great as good a team stat wise but in terms of pro player wise mm. they've got some elite level players yeah how do you do that online though like you know like if it's easy enough it's not easy enough but if you say oh these guys you you guys are going to represent uh man united mm -hmm. you have to build your team and get a right team start they'll spend ages doing that and they're getting ready for that and they will go to the tournaments and they will do that but you're asking any tom dick and harry online sitting on the on their couch to do that they ain't going to do it so the easiest way of, of actually fixing that I'm bringing the game to the mass audience. It's just going to just pick your best team. Yeah. Dream team. That, for all we know, that might be something that they look at. They might yeah. go, Here's Eventually the they will. 
they might go here's a here's a pro category here's the open category for here's here are these metrics and then here's the i don't know whatever you want here's the the, the e-football championship ultimate where you literally yeah. just go all bets are off yeah yeah uh, yeah it's like everybody's on steroids that's all <laughs> yeah which, which, be interesting. again wouldn't be wouldn't be a bad wouldn't be a bad shout but then you will probably end up seeing multiple you teams would. that are the same yeah the same thing yeah. You know? yeah you'd have to have a captain or you'd have to have certain rules wouldn't you to cap yeah, it or be nice. yeah. maybe have I mean, legends like, from each i'd say what they might do is like have legends from each you could have legends from each um partner club that'd be quite quite cool do you know yeah, or, or, you, or you limit it to go there's a legend and their max overall is this yeah etc like or max level of this like there's there's ways around it but it's it, but again it's all about how it's all about how they then go and import and use that detail and use that knowledge it's it's and it's whether even the, even if they do you know it's yes yeah. it's, it's, i think it's FIFA's like, doing something like three only three legends or something yeah, I think yeah. For, the, for, the, for the for the premier league because i looked at doing the the premier league it's like you can only have players that are associated with the premier league i.e oh. heroes mm-hmm. heroes there's a certain batch of icons that you can only have anybody who played in the premier league so you can have right. like check van der Sar, rooney all those guys, but you can't rock up with R nine because he never touched the Premier League. Yeah. So you, you can only go. You know what I mean? Like imagine you just rock up and you're like, hey, I'm just gonna play with R nine. Oh, he had that spell for Barnes back in like ninety six. <laughs> it's like, nah, what do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, He's just, lucky he didn't. Yeah, he man. wouldn't have hacked it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. But look, there's lots of there's lots of good topics there, lads. I'm dying here. I don't know. I'm off camera there, trying to yeah, trying to catch my breath. It. Oh my god. But, well, um, this is his excuse <clears throat> to sign off, really, because then I, I can now sign Yeah, you're going to do the, you're I'll, doing the I'll, outro. I'll, I'll save him because of his throats there. Uh, obviously, a massive thank you to Game Over UK for joining us. Um, we are on SoundCloud. We're on Spotify. We're on YouTube, as you can probably see. We're anywhere you can get your podcasts. Uh, he has been the Crokey Midnight Kid. <laughs> I have been Wazer FC, and we will see you guys again next time. Take care. Peace out.